Welcome to Matt is Own HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. We're here with men's soccer head coach Tom Foley. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Nate. So since the last time we saw you on the coach show last week, we had a game get rained out um, on Friday. We played UNC Asheville, and the game was called in the 52nd minute due to inclement weather. It's something pretty unusual. Uh, how was that for you and your team? Uh, it was a little frustrating for us because I think we got off to a good start in the game. Uh, we were able to create a lot of offens offensive opportunities, which is something we worked on at practice for the, the whole week prior to that match. And I think things are going in the right direction, but you can't fight Mother Nature. And uh, there were actually a couple games that weekend that were uh, canceled due to inclement weather, so uh, under the same conditions we had to deal with. So it's a little frustrating. Uh, it took a long time to get to the point where we could make that final decision of whether we could play or not. But uh, overall, from a soccer standpoint, it was nice to see the guys come out and really try to attack from an offensive standpoint and create opportunities. And I think we're close on many occasions to score, score a goal. Yeah, and then uh, you guys played at Penn State last night and unfortunately came away with a 2 nothing loss. Uh, what was that game in your eyes for the team? I think it was a good learning experience for our guys. Uh, Penn State is a quality team. It's a great environment to play soccer at. Um, it was another game that we did come out and create a lot of offensive opportunities. Uh, I think we had more shots in our game against Penn State than some of the other games we played prior to. Um, and again, we're working on being more dangerous in the attack, uh, as well as shoring up our defense. And I think it was a good learning experience for everybody in the match. And we can take uh, some positive things from this match and, and get ready to go against West Virginia. Yeah, the team is still looking for their scoring touch a bit. Uh, how? What do you see as a key to sort of finding that and scoring more goals? Well, I think it's our movement off the ball, first and foremost, uh, and getting players the mentality that we want them to get into good scoring positions. We want them to get on the ends of, end of things, uh, balls being played into the box. Uh, we want to get them from a standpoint of going at 1v1 uh, against the opponent's defenders and really going with the mentality that they're confident and that they're trying to create opportunities to go to goal. And it's, uh, we will always concentrate on, on trying to defend, but we need to give those players the freedom to attack at, at the right times. Now, the Penn State game is only sort of the first leg of a tough three-part road trip. Mm -hmm. um, it continues on Friday at West Virginia. What do you want to see as a team going into West Virginia? Well, I, I think you can only control the things you can control as a team. So I think if we have a maximum effort from all the guys on the team and we look to, again, build on our previous matches where we've gotten to be more offensive orientated and shore up our defense, I, I'd like to see that. But I think we have to concentrate on those things we can control, which is effort, teamwork, desire uh, and those types of things as we go into the match uh, and try to create our opportunities to score. Great. Well, we all certainly hope to see a win on Friday night. Good luck to you and your team. Thanks, Nate.